Hi, dear students. Welcome back to Computer Science class. In our previous session, we have seen different data types, which includes binary type, date and time, numeric type, and alphanumeric type. Today, we have another very important concept, another very important topic in database management system or in SQL. It's all about keys, mainly primary key and foreign key. And before heading into the topic, uh, we have already learned record uniqueness and key field. Actually, what is a record uniqueness? As we know, we store data uh, with the help of a relation or a table. As we follow relational database management system, we store data in a table. So, uh, we know what a table is. A table is a structure having rows and columns. So, we store data in row wise or tuple wise, right? Uh, tuple is what record is or row is. So, we store data mainly in the form of rows. So, each row in a table must be unique. What is the term meaning of that uniqueness? Each row in a table must be unique in the sense, at least one column in a table must be unique. That is why we are having a word just for at the time of identifying a student. We have, we are adding roll number, right? Because there may be duplication name, may be duplication marks or in gray or in any other field. So, there must be a distinct field. A unique field in every table to identify the table or data in the table so that is what record uniqueness is in each table or in each relation we must have a column or a field that should be used to identify uh, data uniquely or rows uniquely and that field is called key field okay record uniqueness and key field when we uh, come to employee when we look at employee here we can say what uh, three we have four columns right four columns or four fields employee number employee name designation department number and we have one two three four five five rows or five tuples right so here employee number is a unique key or is a key field the same way in department number we can say what department we can say department number is a key field so that is what record uniqueness and key field is okay so Today we have uh, primary key and foreign key. We have number of keys, alternate key, uh, what primary key, foreign key, candidate key, super key. We have a number of keys. So, but we have only, we are looking at only primary key and foreign key. Okay. So here we have two tables. First table is employee. Second table is department. First relation is employee. Second relation is department. We can look at employee first. Employee is a relation having four columns or four fields. Employee number, employee name, designation, and department. Department number. Then in employee number we have uh, all these values. Okay. Plus it is a, it's a table having five rows. First row one one zero Arun manager eleven. What is the meaning? Uh, one 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 zero is the employee number of Arun. Employee Arun who is working at S manager in department number eleven. The same way we have four more rows so this is the what uh, data storage in the table employee then you can see one more table here one more relation department and department has three columns three fields department number department name and location and uh, we have five rows 11 marketing mumbai what is this 11 marketing mumbai here we know department number is a key field yes Employee number is a key field in employee. Here department number is a key field in department. Here in employee number, only by using employee number you can identify each tuple uniquely, each row uniquely. Because you can have duplication name, can have duplication designation or in department number. The same way here department name can be same. De uh, location can also be same, may also be same. But department number must be distinct, must be unique. So, 11 department number, uh, department name for department number 11 is marketing and which is located at Mumbai. Okay, so we know uh, we are using relational file. Relational file means a file or uh, data stored in different files or separate files. We are not storing the entire data. Uh, on an organization or for, for an organization in a single file. We are having multiple tables or multiple relations. 
uh, when we consider our uh, school we will have multiple tables for example for storing uh, student academic data you will have a table for non academic data we will have another table for your official data you will have another table so there will be a number of tables for storing your data uh, we are not having a single table because to manage data stored in a single table will be very difficult so we are storing data in multiple tables and the speciality is each all of these tables each of these table must be connected must be connected to each other okay and here uh, with this primary key and foreign key we are looking at how we can connect two tables okay how can we connect two relations uh, as we store data in different relations or in separate relations or tables okay so here you can see one uh, common column common field in employee and department what is that department number department number is a column which is present in both employee and department right and here in department department number is a key field right but in employee department number is not a key field employee number is a key field so we are going to connect employee and department that is what we are going to do with primary key and foreign key okay so we can look at primary key first we know the concept of key keys are used to uniquely identifying tuples in a relation that is a basic definition of key keys are used to uniquely identifying tuples in a relation keys are used to uniquely identifying tuples in a relation why they identifying tuples because we store data in the form of tuple or row that is why we are identifying tuples okay so here uh, is the definition of primary key primary key is a unique value used to identify row in a table it is a unique value that identifies row in a table uh, it's called what unique key or unique field okay so here in the case of employee we have the key field employee number and that key field is what primary keys that key field is what primary keys we are giving another name okay so here in employee employee number is a key field or that is a primary key this is unique value here you, you cannot see any repetition right any duplication because there won't be duplication uh, for those uh, columns uh, when you consider it as primary key or any, any kind of key okay there will not be any duplication must not be in duplication okay so it is a unique value that identifies row in a table or rows in a table it's called what unique key or unique field here in employee employee number is a unique field why we consider employee number as a unique field because you can have same name uh, like you have arun okay you can have one more arun another arun okay the same way you can have designation as manager you can see here what manager is repeated twice the same way uh, you can see 11 twice right so you can have duplication all other columns but there must not be any duplication employee number okay when you set employee number as a primary key there must not be any duplication that is what primary key is simply a key okay so keys are used to uniquely identifying tuples in a relation okay actually what happens uh, when you don't have this employee number it will be very difficult for us to uh, distinguish which arun uh, you are referring to for example you have two aruns okay and if you want to access if you want to fetch information of uh, the first arun how can you do it you you may not have any mechanism because uh, uh, it will not, uh, when you give what arun as a condition you have one more arun which one should be recognized there is no idea okay so it may be leading to confusion or ambiguity so uh, better to avoid those that kind of ambiguity so that is why we using what unique key okay primary key okay then when you are moving to department which one is the primary key in department it is department number here in department department number is the primary key because department name can be what duplicated you can have same uh, department name okay then location can be same you can have two mumbai two delhi okay yeah so but department number is distinct is unique is duplication free okay you can't see any duplication here in department number so uh, in employee employee number is the primary key and in department department number is the primary key okay so hope uh, the uh, concept of primary key is somewhat uh, very clear to you then we are heading to foreign key foreign key what is a foreign key what, what is the term meaning of foreign? 
for him means another element element is uh, which which may not be belonging to that uh, particular entity right that is what foreign is like foreign element foreign element in our body which may not be a part of our body right so that's what foreign is okay so foreign key definition it identifies a column or set of columns uh, in one relation that matches or refers to a column or set of columns in another table or another relation the idea is about very simple the concept is about very simple uh, it identifies a column or set of columns that in one relation a column or set of columns in one relation that refers to a column or set of columns in another relation for example here in department you can see department number right here in employee also you have uh, the column department number so uh, here department number in employee is the primary what is the foreign key you know the primary key of employee that is employee number and you have department number here in employee here department number acts as the foreign key of employee here department number in department is a primary key of department okay so foreign key will be or may be a primary key of another relation and why we using uh, foreign key the concept of foreign key primary key foreign key relationship okay there is a concept name primary key foreign key relationship and we established that kind of relationship just to connect two tables two relations okay actually you can see one thing employee number is a primary key of employee department number is a primary key of department and we have included department number in dip what employee here department number in employee access the foreign key of employee okay department number of employee access the foreign key of employee employee number of employee access the primary key of employee okay so this is what uh, the concept of foreign key is actually the concept of foreign key is used to match or used to refer to a column or set of columns in another relation okay just by including department number here in employee which all data can be derived for example when you consider 110 employee number uh, of uh, having what 110 you can say which all things if it is a standalone for example if it's not connected to any any other relation you can say simply what 110 is a, is the employee number of firm who is working at working as manager but when you include 11 or department number you can elaborate right for example uh, 110 is the employee number of firm who is working as manager in department number 11 and when you are moving to 11 what what all things can you uh, describe or uh, repeat okay that is 11 is the department name having department name marketing right uh, which is located at Mumbai meaning you can say one thing you can you can explain you can uh, describe it like 110 is that uh, what employee number of firm who is working as manager uh, and working in which department marketing department and who is uh, working at Mumbai right so this is how we are fetching or we are connecting relations and how we how we have connected these two relations employee and department just by including the primary key of department in what employee right and this way you can connect two relations and we have one more definition for primary key and foreign key okay uh, primary key what's a primary key it is a value that uniquely identify tuples in a relation okay so or we can say what it is a column or set of columns that used to uniquely identify tuples in a relation it is a column or set of columns uh, we are avoiding set of columns okay we consider only one column so it's a column used to identify uniquely used to uniquely identify tuples in a relation it is a column which is used to uniquely identify tuples in a relation but foreign key it is a column or set of columns that matches with column or set of columns in another relation and the concept of foreign key is mainly used to connect okay and we have already seen there is a relationship called primary key foreign key relationship and that relationship is mainly used to connect two relations or tables okay so this is all about primary key and foreign key and we have uh, two more terminologies parent table and child table what is a parent table parent table here which one is a parent table of course department uh, parent table is a table having primary key or uh, the uh, from uh, where we copy value to 
Okay, for example, here we are copying value from department and we are placing it to employee. We have a primary key in both employee and department, but uh, the concept is parent table means here for department acts as a parent table because uh, we have copied one field or one column of department to employee. So this acts as the master table or parent table. Okay, and employee acts as the what child table or the slave table. Okay. One, uh, the first one is parent table. Parent table is a table having a primary key plus that key will be copied to some other table. Okay, so here in this case we have copied department number two, employee. So department acts as the parent key or what master key. Okay, and uh, employee acts as the child table or what slave table, master table or parent table or and child table or slave table okay so this is all about primary key and foreign key the relationship the concept okay let's have a quick revision okay yeah our concept is primary key and foreign key and what is the concept of key keys are used to uniquely identifying tuples in a relation uh, in every table we must have a unique key or unique field then only we can identify tuples in a relation as we store data in the form of tuples or records or rows so in every table we must have a unique field otherwise it will be very difficult for us to uh, locate or to uh, manage with the table okay so here comes uh, here we have two example uh, two relations employee and department employees having five, uh, four columns and five rows and department is having three columns and five rows three fields and five rows okay so here in employee, employee number is a primary key. Here in department, department number is a primary key. But you can see the presence of department number in employee. And department number in employee is a foreign key. Right? So uh, here comes the definition of primary key. It is a value. It's a unique value that identifies tuples in the relation. Or we can say what? It is an attribute or set of attributes uniquely identifying tuples in a relation. Okay? So next one is foreign key. Foreign key is a column or set of columns that matches with what a column or set of columns in another relation right here what we are just uh, copying this department number to uh, department number from department to employee okay here uh, what department number in department number in department is a primary key and department number in employee is a foreign key here this is the foreign key and this is the primary key okay here department number is the primary key Okay, we are simply copying this department number uh, from department to what employee and here department number acts as a foreign key and we are using the terminology primary key foreign key relationship just to establish a connection. Okay, Connect, why, why we are establishing connection just to get or to just to fetch data from multiple tables. We know we are storing data in, uh, in the form of relations or tables not in a single table. Okay, so that's what foreign key is the concept is very simple. And uh, the foreign key is mainly used to refer to another table, okay? Just to connect to another table, just to refer to another table, just for getting value from another table. And we have already elaborated the statement, right? Okay. Then uh, parent table and child table. Parent table is a table having primary key, and uh, from that table we are copying the word key to another word, another relation or table, okay? Then child table. Child table is a table having foreign key. Here, employee is having the foreign key department number. So, we can say employee is a child uh, table or slave table, and uh, this department, department is the parent table or uh, master table. Okay, so this is all for the time being. Uh, just go through all these topics uh, very thoroughly. Okay, uh, if you have any doubt, you can uh, just uh, post it uh, in the comment box. Okay, so uh, thank you. Thank you for watching. Have a nice time.